Yeah, um, upload schedule is in the mud. Will not lie. Yo, what it do, my lads? It's your boy Meta Mike. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, boys. It is your boy Meta Mike, uh, right there. So yeah, to, uh, today I am actually gonna do a little bit of a different video right here, uh, right, right here, right there, boys. So please do hit that like as I say, subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I'm really sorry about the upload schedule, boys. I've been so busy with uni. And literally, this is my third year. It's my last year, if you do not know. So yeah, it's it's it gets a little bit hectic, and it's literally one more assignment, uh, which is basically a POE, uh, right there assessment task and yeah i'm nearly done and then that is it that is wraps so yeah uh it's been a long ride will not lie but yeah without further ado boys we are gonna do this video uh, but uh first word from our sponsor i'm proud to announce that i have partnered up with one football being the sponsorship of this video right there one football is literally the greatest app for your football content pleasures it's the best app to keep you updated with literally the best teams man the teams of your dreams like man united Cheers, Jeff. all the competitions you look forward to and all the players you look up to man so yeah uh, also more importantly has a unique friendly user uh, way of basically introducing all football content whether that be through score updates breaking news transfer news and just overall like news in general in terms of football i mean you can even watch videos boys highlights and uh literally much more so yeah i mean this app has everything man using the link at the top of my description uh by downloading this app uh, obviously it helps me out and helps them out so yeah look at the top of my description right there for the link of one football whether that be ios or android boys so yeah thank you so much once again one football for sponsoring this video as you can see there boys we are on photoshop for a little bit of a different reason right there we are doing a tier list if you did not see the title it is a tier list of the best attackers so basically this is basically like a new series right there where uh whereby i state the best players in my opinion so please don't get uh, touched in the comments down below uh right Right there don't uh, be angry uh, if i do put a player that you love maybe or something in uh, like a d list right there so basically how this list works is s is basically superb basically the top tier a is the second top tier b is more or less middle middle range uh, moderate all right there c is is okay not the best one i lie and then d is just straight up garbage <laughs> right there but uh, yeah that's how the tier list is gonna work and these are literally a lot of uh, attackers that have uh, added so this video will take a little bit of time will not lie right there but as i said smash like man subscribe uh, right there so as i said boys basically uh, this is like the first segment uh, may maybe when every promo actually starts out uh, i will do a tier list of the best players leave it in the comments if you want to see that and uh, maybe in the future i can do obviously again midfielders and defenders even goalkeepers if you want to see obviously leave it down in the comments boys in the comments yeah without further ado man saw so we are gonna go ahead and say c right there we're not gonna waste any time saw so is, is okay decent not not the best will not lie uh right there he's got decent pace to be fair but overall man you know weak foot and uh, skill moves does come into factor when i do do these uh, attacker uh, things right there but yeah jump over to the next one it is the main man jelson martins and i gotta be a little bit a little bit uh, strict on where i put these players man i don't want to put everyone in s you know what i mean so we, we're just trying to figure out but i'll be honest man saw probably one of the better spc players that I, i've played with but due to his price is a little bit you know um sometimes people would say it's not worth it but in my opinion, I feel like he's in the A list, man. Literally, like, I think he's almost up there in the S list because he's really, really reliable. Only problem is he's um, obviously um, shooting, which can be a little bit of a problem. But I mean, in this game, man, if you can use him as a right mid uh, in a 4 4 2, you'll do wonders right there. Jump over to the next one, it is the main man, Defrel. So now he is actually an objective player, um, if I'm not mistaken. And his card looks decent. Get, don't get me wrong. I think what will boost this card a little bit more up is. Uh, due to the fact that he has a good links man he's from Syria and he's French right there so you can really, really make some nice hybrids uh, but overall his card is I wouldn't say nothing special right there so definitely put him in the B list right there uh, nothing too special I think if I'm not mistaken he has actually um, I think he has a three star weak foot yeah the problem with Defral is uh, the three star weak foot which can be a little bit of a letdown um, right there but uh, as cam you don't really need him that much if you're going to use him as a cam definitely is in the b list right there overall but yeah jump over to the next one it is the main man stadio Mane, the best player in the world absolute beast man uh in my opinion probably one of the better um premier league attackers right there and obviously stadio Mane is a left wing uh right there he is um this card looks really really decent four star four star 92 pace 84 shooting stadio Mane, if you can use him right he will do damage hence why i will probably put him somewhere between the a or b list i don't think sadio money is moderate i think he's actually a really, really good player so he is definitely a we are going to overlap this because there is a lot of players right there boys uh yeah definitely in the a list i think sadio money can be there 
Um, I don't think he's at S because it's not that player that everyone uses, you know what I mean? All right, there, but yeah, jump over to Mura, the absolute beast, the GOAT right there. Yeah, Danny Aaron's favorite player, man. I think personally, solid card. I think because of his age, he deserves to be in the S list. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, boys. Realistically, if I were to put this card, it's a really fun card. I actually got a little bit of meta stats, will not lie. But it's nothing special, will not lie. Nothing special uh, right there. So, yeah, I, I, it hurts me to put him in the B list. But in my opinion, he's a really, really solid card. Uh, but yeah, more, more or less on the moderate side uh, moderate side of things. So, yeah. Um, jump over to Bamba. Mo Bamba. <laughs> we got the beast Mo Bamba, man. Uh, if you did not know, man, his card back then, boys. Uh, FIFA 21. I think it was his last year card, team of the season, 5 star skill moves. He was one of the most irritating players to play against. Honestly, such a beast. I think um, this year, he's more or less nothing special. Nothing special, will not lie. But he could be, man. The thing is, like, if he gets another special card, I think he'll probably be somewhere between the S or A list right there. But in my opinion, probably put him at B, will not lie. Nothing special. I think a moderate right there. I have used him in draft and I have actually bought him once. Didn't see no, nothing too special. That's that's why I put him there. But he can be at the A-list. Don't get me wrong right there. As I said, don't get touched, boys, in the comments right there, man. Uh, this is just my personal opinion of the best players right there. But yeah, jump over to the main man, Jung Min Son. He has actually gone down in price a lot, man. We're looking at a 90 rated cam. Uh, not cam, basically LM. 90 pace. Um, is that 88 shooting, if I'm mistaken? So I cannot see. Yes, I think that is 88 shooting. Absolute beast in my opinion, man. And I think if you can use lanky players... He, he will be somewhere between an S or A tier list player for you. But in my opinion, man, nah, I will not put him at B. I'll definitely put him at A. I think he's actually a really, really solid player. Five star, weak foot right there. But I just do bear in mind, he's a little bit lanky. So if you can use players like that, you know, the likes of Neymar, Son, those type of players, I think he'll be decent for you, man. Very, very uh, decent right there. We will overlap that, put him at A. And uh, yeah, we are looking at some, some decent players, right? The decent players. We are moving over to the next man. And now this man, boys. This is Pros. Firstly, I did actually do a play review on him. If you don't uh, actually want to check that, but it's long ago right there. I actually might do a renewed player review because he's getting an 87 uh, rated card, if I'm not mistaken. And Polly, I think, are out of the group. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not too sure, but they are. I know, um, I know he is getting a special card. I did check. On Twitter, he's getting an 87 if I'm not mistaken. But if he gets an 87, man, he's definitely gonna be up there, right there between S or A. But uh, nothing too special. Doesn't have five star skills, you know, five star weak foot. But he is a really, really reliable player, and he will be in that A tier list for you, especially if you have a Serie A team. You can link him really nice to the likes of Osiman and um, Insignia. You know, you can make a really, really nice 4-3-3, even a 4-3-2-1. Have maybe like Barella in form or Tonali. Uh, UCC, you wrote to the final CM right there in a 4 3 2 1. Not a bad shout right there. Move over to the Yata. He is also gonna get upgraded right there. He uh, Monaco are out of the group. Um, I think they got first to second. I'm not too sure right there, will not lie. But uh, yeah, this, this type of card I think is decent, but nothing too special, man. Nothing too special right there. I, I know last year he was amazing, but I haven't seen too much from him, which is why I'll put him probably in the B tier list, man will not lie he's nothing too special right there we are moving over to Bo and mike why did you add him maybe the first d tearless player absolute dub <laughs> we are moving over to grant right there with these are obviously the objective players i just added these players you know just to showcase that there are some some shockers some shock of cards right there grant definitely somewhere between c or, or b um uh, I obviously never seen him play, but judging from his stats, no boys, I think he has 3 star, 3 star, yeah, he's, he's not going to be a very reliable player right there, he'll definitely be in the C list of players right there, if you want to link him, definitely can, but uh, yeah, judging at this point of the game, especially trying to get to his card, uh, he is the last season objective player, if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually on my console, let me actually check if he is the last player, um, the last player is Grant Lincoln or Van Ginkle, and yeah, I don't know what I yeah doing, man. At least give me players that I know. I know Van Ginkle's good, but <laughs> other than that, come on, yeah. Right there, we're looking at the pie. Now this this one is very weird, boys. Will not lie. A lot of people, man, have used this card in champs, and I cannot defend him for some reason. I always say it in my squad building videos and uh, etc. He's a solid, solid card, man. I think if he gets one or two more special cards, he would be definitely in that s list in my opinion man especially if he gets that weak foot upgrade right there i think he'll be amazing um but yeah i think for now i will put him at the b or a list it just depends i'm just trying to think probably a if i'm not mistaken man 
because this card is actually decent boys and he's got good links obviously but uh yeah i think definitely a tier list player right there um it, it also just depends man because if i put him because the only reason why i want to put him at b is because he has um he, he doesn't have a good weak foot you check if he had a four star weak foot then i definitely put him at a but uh, for now yeah i think he's definitely at the b tier list right there we're looking at another one which is griezmann uh, actually a renewed uh, inform player that he got last week or this week not too sure but yeah he's he's a decent card man i really like the looks of griezmann right there um nothing special though which is why i'll probably put him at a b again now that b uh, tier list which is the uh, middle players like the moderate players nothing too special is uh, getting a little bit crowded will not lie <laughs> right there but yeah jumping over to the main man cole uh, we are gonna move a little bit faster uh, yeah let us check cole um four star four star from the premier league links to a lot of players in premier league obviously gets green links to them i think he's a decent card man i always use him right there if you're playing a 442 i think he's an a card personally in my opinion i feel like cole beats all these cards that are on the b c and d tier list so i'm definitely putting him at a right there obviously if you don't know within this um video i don't do icons by the way because icons i mean everyone knows that icons are meta they know the icon i mean the meta icons and obviously the uh the bad icons right there if you want to see me do a icon video leave it in down in the comments right there we're looking at melito right there another foot hero upgrade card and uh yeah do leave in the comments i think they're getting a second batch of foot hero cards that'll be amazing will not lie imagine they like a, a berbatov man oh my days that is gonna be amazing right there but yeah jumping over to melito boys i'll be honest either c or d man nothing too special i'll probably put him at c just because yeah putting him in a d is a little bit it's a little bit mad will not lie but uh yeah we are jumping over to inaki williams boys and he is a the only record breaker attacker right there so yeah i think the only record breaker ever like in fifa 22 so yeah we're looking at inaki williams now he was good in the start of fifa it is a little bit outdated now will not lie which is why i'll probably put him at c due to his weak foot uh being a major problem man sometimes weak foot can be a little bit of a problem uh and so skill moves is a little bit feels a little bit lanky and uh, dribbling wise yeah he's not agile at, at all so yeah c uh, right there we're looking at the main man luis suarez now this card is weird man because i've tried him out in draft by the way i've tried most of these cards out man i wouldn't just give you um just put them in tier list you know what i mean but uh yeah suarez i think he could be a really, really good player man because he does have if i'm not mistaken he actually has three star skill moves and four star weak foot he is currently 500k i also judge these players off of in terms of um their price ranges man and how they actually uh how their price ranges actually link up to the actual skill right there so that's how i judge them, judge them off as well just overall you know um i think suarez for me personally um he could be a, a tier list player if he had four star weak foot uh sorry sorry skill moves but he does not i mean if you he could be an a player if you don't skill that's the option but overall he'd probably be in the b tier list will not lie man because uh yeah he can be a little bit lanky at times which i can't see but I, I think i'll give him the a tier list player because yeah overall i think suarez is decent man nothing too um like superb wanna lie but uh yeah we're looking at probably one of the better cheap players man this could be could be the first s tier list player that could be uh right there you know why due to the fact that he's so cheap He's four star, four star. He's really, really tall. He fits the meta of this game um, right there. It just depends, man. For S tier list, I don't want to be too strict, but I think he could be uh, the best probably up there with the S tier list. But for now, we'll see how this actually pans out at the end. Uh, we will put him uh, right there in uh, probably A tier list right there. But trust me, I've used him uh, a weekend league. I really, really enjoyed him. He's long shots. He's just overall, man. He doesn't feel lanky at all him being as well six foot three you know what i mean right there but yeah jump over to the next one it is the main man usman dembele boys usman dembele man we're just gonna slap him at s five star five star you already know man you already know <laughs> come on lads <laughs> this i don't even need to speak usman dembele man yeah let's just move over man we're looking at Asensio. Uh, now if you obviously do not know usman dembele is a beast so if you were to pick him up you do really really good things with him right there so yeah move over to essential we're looking at a card that is very very mediocre if not the probably like i don't know man i just don't like the looks of this card boys 86 pace 82 shooting he looks like an objective player but he was an spc 
Yeah, it looks like fodder at best, will not lie. We are gonna slap him probably at D, man. I'll be really, really honest. I have not seen good things from him. I mean, if he plays well for you, fair play. But in my opinion, I just don't see any use in that card right there, man. We're looking at the main man, Felix, right there. Now, this is a type of player that I like. Got 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, 90 pace, 84 shooting. All right, there. Now, because of price range, I am going to put him at A. Will not lie. I don't think he's... Like, you can get... Um, better cards for the price that you are spending so he's definitely gonna go at a right there. if there was a tier list between a and s you'd be there because he's, he's almost there man that s will not lie but uh yeah move over to the um diego jota we're looking at five star weak foot solid solid card solid attacker right there how much is he now right? diego jota is currently three hundred and eighty-five thousand coins four star with skills five star weak foot as, as i stated and yeah he just looks like an honest solid solid cam right there uh, and i think in my opinion, boys, nothing special though. Again, nothing special. We'll be in that A tier list uh, of cards. And uh, yeah, I've versed him before. And uh, yeah, he was kind of decent. Nothing too special, man. We're looking at Edwards, which is kind of a one that I added. Um, I think for a cheap, cheap player, he's decent, man. Nothing too special. Obviously, he's cheap. Right there, he was the signature signing card. 92 pace, 81 shooting. In a 4-4-2, if you were to obviously link like the likes of Rooney, you know, have some fun players to mix right there even a tavernier you know the likes of that he can be decent man nothing too special though which is why i'll probably put him at he could be a b player but i'll put him at a c right there but uh, yeah moving over to another signature signing player now this card is very very weird boys because let me actually type in cramberich i think he has if i'm not mistaken does he have four star skill moves and four star weak foot he does he does he does that's why i added him he's got 39 he's 39 000 coins roughly like 40k the only downfall about his card is his sprint speed. So he's nothing like SA. Uh, I think he's more or less a B tearless player, if not C. So I will slap him at C right there. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, but yeah, overall, if you were to buy him, he wouldn't be too bad, man. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, 40k as well. And what separates this card, like why I want to put him at B is because he has 87 agility, 91 balance as well, which is honestly not a bad card. Uh, right there oh but uh, there are better cards that you can buy you can even get normal Lewandowski you'd play better but uh yeah move over to Jimenez the absolute beast man look at that honest handsome beast oh <laughs> uh, we're looking at a solid solid card I think mm, it's very weird man because I think he has three star skill moves and he's a little bit lanky we will slap him at B nothing too special wanna lie we are looking at Benita yeah there we go okay we are looking at Cruz cool Okay, uh, Alex Teixeira, not a bad card, 83 pace, 82 shooting, um, yeah, C, will not lie, nothing too special. Now then, Yuma boys, I used him at the st uh, start of the game, um, I think he came out like within third week or fourth week, and he was a beast. I think he has an Afro in game, as I always say, he's just honestly not a bad card for a cheap team, you can go the likes of, like, you can even have, like, him, the young linking to, like, the young linking to, like, Dembele, you got, like, the likes of Vinicius, you know, you can link him right there. So I'll probably put him at B, man. I really like the looks of this card, will not lie. Uh, so yeah, overall, not, not a bad, bad option right there. Now, Isaac, boys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's getting a special card. Now, uh, not a special card, an upgrade card. Upgraded version of his 86. And he is currently, I think, just like 50 to 100k. Man, his card is going to be amazing, man. Uh, he's got 5-star weak foot, if I'm not mistaken. Now, 5-star weak foot, he's currently um, actually 44,000 coins. And I think Real Sociedad are actually out of their group, if I am not mistaken. So they are good. The only thing that separates this card from me putting him in the A tier list is his uh, balance is a little bit low. And sometimes when he turns, he can be a little bit lanky. But I think overall, man, if you were to play him and you like using those type of players like the likes of Son, etc., he's going to be an A tier list player for you uh, in a 4 3 one For me personally, he's a B tier list player, moderate, nothing too special but uh yeah i like the looks of his card maybe his 87 can be a not a bad shout right there now timo Werner, man this is this is a new card boys this card is honestly in the start was amazing man trust me leave in the comments if timo Werner absolutely hurt you in the start of the game his gold card was amazing but uh this card i definitely put him at a nothing too special to put him at uh, s but i mean any a player is special card overall just not amazing amazing if that makes sense but uh, yeah, we are looking at the main man, Ginola. Oh, boys, this is the dream card I want, man. I'm actually currently in a trading group, which I will probably mention in the future of how much coins I make, uh, etc. 
But you know, boys, I'm saving to get this guy because honestly, man, he, there's no no brainer that this man is a S tier card. Uh, yeah, a lot of pros use him. Uh, he's got that. He's just so fast. He's agile. He's tall. He literally has all the qualities, man, of how I want Cantona to be <laughs> right there in the game. But yeah, we're looking at Keen. Now, it's actually very weird um, with Keen. I'm actually trying to think, man. Where could Keen actually play? Uh, sorry, not play. Where could he situate himself? Because I like this this card. Um, in Premier League, man, he links to a lot of players, obviously. Uh, cheers, Jeff. And overall, I think he could be a S tier list player. The only problem with the um, with this type of card is he's a little bit lanky. Now he's nothing too special, so which is why I'll probably put him at B. But he can be a, a tier list player right there. We're looking at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Boys, probably C. Nothing special, if not actually nothing like great <laughs> right there but uh yeah not a bad card overall though we are looking at s man as i said s is the top of the line player and for G dinatalis i was gonna say ginola for dinatalis price i think dinatalis situ situates himself at s there is a no-brainer that dinatalis situ uh, situates himself at s links to everyone in Serie A. Why do I keep on saying that for foot heroes? Like, they link to everyone. <laughs> okay, but yeah, he's, he's a solid, solid option of a card right there. But yeah, we are looking at Mo Salah. Mo Salah, the absolute beast, man. Egyptian king. Now, the only problem with Salah, everyone knows this, is his weak foot. But I don't want to put Salah at A, man. Oh, do I have to do it, man? Let me actually move my... Um, I don't want to put Salah at at uh, A, I will not lie. But uh, yeah, he's, Salah's a really, really good player, I will not lie. I'll put him in A for now. I'll put him at A for now. Nothing too special though, boys. But uh, yeah, we are drawing closer and closer. I want to actually see how much cards we have. Yeah, boys, I think for me personally, we are looking at probably one of the best objectives I've done. The only problem is I know a lot of people is going to go on like, Mike, why would you put Neres over Salah? Literally, like, I want to put him in S, but the only problem is his weak foot. So I'll put him alongside Salah right there. The only problem is we are looking at... Yeah, these, these, it's literally almost done, the A tier list right there. But yeah, Banza, now this is a card that is 4 star, 4 star, 88 pace, 88 shooting. The only problem with this card is I think in-game is a little bit lanky and his passing is a little bit ass. <laughs> I will not lie. The only problem, that's the only problem, man. So, which is why I'll probably put him at uh, B right there. So, nothing too special. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to go as fast as possible because I know this video is getting a little bit long. Right, they were looking at in Mecca. Yeah, boys, nothing special. I, I think I've seen... Um, Someone review him and they got like one goal in seven games. That is honestly shocking, right? We're looking at Gelino boys. Now, this is a new card right there. 97 pace, 85 shooting. He could be a really, really good player. The only problem I think with his card was, was it his weak foot or his skill moves? It was one of the two. Well, not lie. Let me check. He's currently situating himself at um, 72,000 coins. He's got three star weak foot. So, yeah, you can literally get gold Vinicius, as someone said on Twitter. And he would play even better right there so we will put seam at c right there see you later bad joke mike please stop <laughs> but yeah we are looking at messi light right there 95 messi um in my opinion man he was the most like he was my favorite card to use in the start of the game honestly so good he scored so much goals for me uh, right there especially with the finesse trait um and the finesse is being op outside the box he was a beast but there's no it's a no-brainer messi's at s in my opinion right there just because how I know, like, Messi is so good. We are looking at Ronaldo. It's only right that Ronaldo and Messi is in S tier list. Not because they're good players in real life, but they're actually decent in game. And I know a lot of pros use Messi and Ronaldo. Uh, you can also see for yourself right there. We are looking at, yeah, we are looking at a lot of players right there. It's looking nice. We are looking at Morata. Now, with this card, it can be a D. There we go. Fakir, he's an S player, man. Gotta be an S player. He's literally one of, if not the best SPC card released and still to this day is decent. I could put him at A because right now the game and how it's situating itself, um, these type of cards, uh, there's, there's better cards that you can buy right now, like the likes of Benyeda, etc. But man, he's still decent, boys, and he's getting upgraded, I think, if I'm not mistaken right there. Okay, we will put those players uh, at the bottom right there because, uh, yeah, there's not really much D players right there. Uh, but yeah, we are looking at the main man, Kevin De Bruyne. Now, I heard he's a really, really solid card. And he's probably one of the better camps there is right there. De Bruyne really, really actually irritates me, man. Whenever I verse him, you can literally play him. He's a really, really versatile player. And uh, for that reason, I'll probably put De Bruyne at A. 
I definitely put him at a nothing too special though in terms of like him being a um an s tier list player right there i have just obviously fixed up the table right there there's a lot of players in a so i just had to make some space now we are looking at the main man insigne right there probably one of the most agile small players there is and for that reason i'm definitely putting him uh in towards probably the probably say the a tier list again man uh, now there's a lot of players in a will not lie but yeah we're looking at Haller. nothing too special definitely like the likes of um bonza Banza, however you say his name, he's literally like a similar player to him right there. Ossiman, now this is a solid player, man. And I'll probably try to squeeze him in. Can I? Cannot, man. There's so many players at A. Um, we'll probably put him here. Let's, let's do that. Realistically, man, Ossiman deserves to be in that A uh, tier list. We'll, we'll just overlap him right there. Uh, we'll put him here. So just remember that is a tier list. We are looking at Sane. Now, two-star weak foot can be a little bit of a problem. Uh, nothing too special. We'll definitely put him at C, especially for the price, man. I think he's like 200k, if not more. But uh, yeah, Openda, boys. My word. If, if I want to put him at S, I'll put him at S. But he is so solid, man. One of the best objective players I've done. He's just so good. I really, really like the looks of his card as well. But obviously, um, weak foot... And skill moves, uh, nothing too special. We'll definitely put him at A again, but uh, yeah, I'll probably put him somewhere here. <laughs> Lewandowski, um, I've seen A and 9 skills actually use this card. Not a bad shout right there of a card. Um, 80 pace, 94 shooting, um, 4 star, 4 star if I'm not mistaken. Nothing too special, boys, I'll be honest, man. Nothing too special. Definitely put him at B. Benzema, okay, we will do that. He's, if not, probably the best SPC period, boys. We are just not going to even like speak about that. He's just literally insane. If you've done, if you've never done him, sorry about that. Corona, we are putting him at S. Neymar, we are putting him at S. Mbappe, S. Mares, um, I didn't like Mares when I used him. I'm gonna put him at B right there. Anthony, decent card, probably put him at B. Now, just remember that he's there. Um, I'm really sorry, boys. I actually needed to fix. Uh, there's a lot of players right there, as you can see, man. So, uh, yeah, Rafa. We probably got our first um, C play in a long time. Pedro, yeah, just D. They, they're just not good enough. Um, now, Antonio can be a B player. But, uh, yeah, judging at this state of, stage of the game, boys, trust me. He's probably a C player, man. Will not lie. And this is not just because um, it's overcrowded. But uh, yeah, uh, Simeon, now people have said this card is really, really good. But uh, yeah, probably at this stage of the game, he's not going to be that, that good. I won't, I won't lie, he could be he could be a, a very, very good player. Definitely put him at D uh, right there, if not a C player. Overall, I'm really sorry if I do offend you guys if you are using this type of players. But uh, yeah, we got the last players now. Jesus, definitely a C player. Nothing special. Trust me, man. I'm not even just trying to rush things. But yeah, Jesus is just not a special player. Right, they got the likes of the new Coleman, which is in this new team of the week. This team of the week is dead, by the way. Oh my days. We will definitely put Coleman probably somewhere at C again. Just remember he's there. Um, but uh, yeah, Vinicius Jr. boys, the new one coming out tomorrow. It is currently Thursday as I'm recording this, man. And my word, boys, I'm going to put him up there because we already know Vinicius Jr. is probably one of the better players. That's why you don't see his other cards right there because I have put in place his best one right here oh man i probably would try and do him he's probably going to be expensive but i'm definitely going to try craft he's a card he links to benzema he has good links solid probably one of the best s players right there not not the best but the be one of the best now that is the majority of the cards now it's all over the place hopefully this is my first time doing this so yeah it's a little bit harder to maneuver because i am doing actually doing this on um photoshop but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy this video please do smash a like subscribe man and obviously do check out uh, one football thank you so much uh, for watching and thanks for one football for sponsoring but yeah any boy metamike smash a like subscribe these are the best players uh, not in each position, but the best players in each tier uh, list right there. We've got DCB, A and S. I'll check lads in the very next video. Peace, lads.